music matters to you, it matters to us. It is Black Video News with your host, Keith Scott. Black Friday Live, San Antonio. Here we go. Hey, I want to thank you all for tuning in to this celebrity edition of Black Friday Live. I'm your host, Keith Scott. Black hey, Friday. Hey, I don't know if you know this celebrity right here, but I'm getting ready to let you know who he is. He started his career out in the, in the record industry with Arista Records. He was with Jive Records for years, and our PR guy. He's been on reality TV. He nice. hosted the show on BET called The Deal. The Deal. He's been on reality hip hop. He's been on marriage boot camp. He's been doing his thing. He's independent <laughs> right now all over the country doing his thing. Yeah. And he's here to talk about it. Mr. Memphis Wright. Hold on. Mr. Mickey, Mickey Memphis. Memphis hits right. Wright is in the building. Junior. All, all in one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot what's, of names. What's How you going been, on, How you man? Been, man? Thank y'all for having me, man. Good to see you, yes, sir. Yes, thank you. Man, welcome to what's the Alamo City, Is this man? Black Friday where everything is like cheaper today? <laughs> today? I need to go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to shop at Texas? Exactly, exactly. Man, welcome to the Alamo City, man, Memphis. Man, thank you, man. San Antonio, thanks for having me. Memphis, Lisa morning. just took me by the AT&T Center. I've never seen that in my life before. Oh, so oh you got cool. You can throw a rock from here I to know. the ATT. That was pretty cool. Oh, now, yeah. welcome to the Alamo, man. Uh, Thank you. Man, been doing your thing, man. Was, uh, you know, doing AR with, you know, with, with Jive Records, no yeah, longer yeah. Jive, Arista, man. You know, how's the. I, I just want to go right into it because okay. you've been in the record game, the industry, for a long time. All right. Man, how has this thing changed a little bit to you, man? Because I'm talking RB and hip hop. I think, it, I think RB and hip hop has changed as it is. As it, was expected to. It's like nothing's supposed to stay the same. I think music, actual core of music is never really going anywhere. It's always going to be music, even if real music to some people takes a dormant break for a while, while, this, while different forms of music comes in. You got to accept it. Like, right. Because it's going to change. Every time a new kid is born, by the time that generation comes up, they going through new things that we didn't go through or you didn't go through or my parents didn't go through. So the music changed. The the influences changed. The TV shows are influencing things. The the certain drugs are influencing certain type of raps. Like people over here leaning, they they rapping slow. People over here up, they doing. You never know what they doing. It's like right. different. Music has different doors, and it's right. like I think that's the beauty of music. Like, if all music was the same, it'd be the same as how boring it would be if all people were the same. Right, but but you even know. as artists, we've seen how it's changed, transition. Mm -hmm. But even the marketing aspect and social media, man. Yeah, yeah. Social media, changed. social media made it easy for uh, like up and coming aspiring you know entrepreneurs that do music they don't need the label like they used to right like it used to be the like you you have to find and figure out who you got to talk to at the label and send a demo in and you got now social media you can do your own videos if you got a camera you can do your own video you got keyboard you can do your own music and you can let the people immediately decide because usually the late the label would decide for the people. Now right. the people decide for the labels. So yeah. social media just really made it possible for you know everybody to become their own business person. Really. Yeah, even in marketing yeah. too. The whole marketing strategy yeah. has changed. You can right? sell a dancing chicken on online if you can find <laughs> one. I mean, sell a dancing chicken. You can. <laughs> you can do what you want to. So the same thing with music. Like these kids are coming up in different places. Like. They growing up in different places, then they and they and that's how the sound is coming out. They being influenced and it comes out and they able they have the access to put it right on in your face through social media. Now yeah. the kids that accept that and they feel like this this is what I used to figure out, like the the Eminem phenomenon. Right. Eminem represented so many other white boys like him. Yeah, yeah, a bunch of them. They, and he's from my hometown, Detroit. Detroit. Uh -huh. Okay, you from D town. Okay, from the they, so, uh -huh. they, so 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 they came to him. Like yeah. you can't you can't really. Everybody is different. If you started rapping, or if you were write a writer, or writing books, or doing whatever you're doing, you have a certain fan base that can relate to you. Yeah, they, they come in regardless, and especially right. if you got a means to get it out on the li online for a lot of eyes to see it at the same time, maximum exposure. Yeah. So that's what these that's that's what the kids are doing now. Music is changing, and I think it's a beautiful thing. It's just keep changing, but I don't think the core of music is ever going to go away. It's always going to be those outlets where real music. <clears throat> what we consider real music or what a person would consider real music to them. Right, right. It's, it's always going to be there, but yeah. it's always going to be different doors of music being created because somebody's always going to remix 
Stevie Wonder. Somebody's gonna remix Whitney Houston, and they gonna turn it into their own thing. Like, yeah, they all And there you go. All of, yeah. all of songs, ta Taylor made to the yeah. Taylor made to that person. Or that man, situation. What, what brings you to the Alamo City? Man, man really, I'm just, know, out, what, I'm just out here promoting them. Like, uh, I think I'm. I'm I th we about to get ready to do this new show called Looking for Mrs. Wright. Being okay. that my last name is really Wright, and my, you know. I want to get into it, but my failed celebrity relationships <laughs> and get this girl thing right for some reason. But we're going to get it together. You're going to get it together, man. It's Maybe. We might get it together on this show. Hey, man, I thank you that you, you know, we, you're hearing that. I don't know if I'm first, but I'm probably yeah, on, the, yeah, yeah. on the first we, of the we list casting. here. We just started casting, casting, and casting yeah. you know, like yeah. just looking for, you know, just. You know, cause Tell I, my viewers a little bit more about, man. We're looking, look, for, we're looking, looking, for, for, Mrs. looking for Mrs. Wright is, is basically just me kind of like, a, you know, just it's almost wife, me looking for what I feel like a, a wife is, what a, what a wife should consist of, how she thinks, how she moves without, you know, because I feel like if I, if I give somebody, you know, 100% love, then I feel like it should come back like that. And okay. I just feel like I haven't been through those kind of situations. So it's like I'm, you know, I'm on the search looking for what my mom and dad had, you know what I mean? But it's like I live, we live in a different world. I, my lifestyle is weird. So it's kind of like a girl got a lot to deal with, even dealing with me. So I can't really act so, like, you know. Right. So, so how are you going to do that? I mean, are you going to be going like to different uh, cities? Or I think, think we're going to we gonna cast from different you're cities. You're going to cast from different cities? Yeah, but cities. I, think, I think we might end up doing it out of Dallas or, you know, somewhere in Texas, you know, doing, you know, uh, doing it out of a house where we come in, you know, maybe we might even do it in San Antonio. I don't know. Oh, okay. But, you know, just kind of just, just really looking for, you know, somebody who, you know, had that good upcoming Good training, know how to handle a beast. Because I, because I, I'm not always Mr. Right. I'm, right. I'm Mr. Wrong at times too. So okay. it is what it is. But that's just on the reality side, the TV side. I'm trying to, you know, uh, talking about landing a, a personality job right now on a radio station, maybe some kind of syndication. Uh, just bringing in new talent, like I've always been known. Yeah, for, yeah, and know, that's what I want my viewers. You know, if, you shows. know, if Memphis Wright, you know, Ti, yeah. K. Michelle, yeah. and you know, a lot of different artists. T Pain, so, T Pain, yeah, 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 you yeah, know, yeah. yeah T well, T Pain, yeah, and you know, uh, yeah, T Pain. But man, are you still trying to? You looking for artists right now? You too? know what? I, I'm, I'm, I'm so always looking cats. for artists because I'm because really, I feel like I am a door. You know, whether whether I like it or not, I'm a door to certain things to a lot of people. So it's like because uh, I love to see people shine. So it's right. like if I see some young and new or somebody that has a certain talent, it's it's just in me to try to help them. You know, explore that. Or if I see some kind of business savvy in a certain person, or like you know. That's just my, I'm not going to call it, I would call it my universal, my universe job. It's right. like it's just some natural in me when I see talent, I, I want to get it out there and want to, I want other people to see it. So that's, I mean, that's always going to be a part of me. So it's yeah. like, you know. Are you residing in Memphis or where you at I'm now? in Dallas right now. Oh, I'm you in Dallas, Dallas now? Yeah, I was, in, I was in Los Angeles for two years. Uh, I moved to Los Angeles at, right after my divorce. I moved to Los Angeles for two years. Then I, I came to Dallas because my daughter lives in Dallas. Okay. So I was visiting my daughter and ended up just staying there for a little while. You know, she's about to be 16 this year. So getting ready for that as a dad <laughs> and all kind of other stuff going on you know so that's that's what that's what i'm doing right now but i'm all producing at, at producing music for different artists yeah consulting for different artists if it's certain things you know that artists you know a lot of artists don't want to go to a label because they know how much money it is in in the independent world right so now they since i'm not at a major anymore that's what i'm doing kind of consulting for artists that want to skip over knocking on the label's door like i can show you how to do this without going through the label you can yeah. be, your own, be your own label yeah and keep just the money the grassroots yeah, and get it yeah, done just yourself. get it done and, and then nine times out of ten if you get it you get it cracking in the right ways and doing the right things the label ends up knocking on your door and that's the position you really want to be in you want right. the label knocking on you don't want to be knocking on the label door because when you're knocking on the label's door they looking at you like all the other hundreds of thousands of people that's knocking on their door trying to get a deal every day but if they looking for you that means you've been doing your work. Yeah, so so you're here today. You're going to be uh, here today. You're going to be a designer, glitz, and glamour. Uh, What's up, designer, glitz, designer, and glamour? Designer, glitz, and glamour. Right yeah. off of Pat Booker Road, uh, mm -hmm. Aviation Boulevard right in universal city so man what's gonna be going down over there man you're gonna be signing some autographs and say hello uh, you uh, may find out a lot of women I, over there i heard Memphis. i might be getting you naked may, you may find mrs I, I right in that, that, des <laughs> that design of glitz and glamour I, I, know, today. I, I don't know i'm talking to lisa she told me something the old lady told me i was gonna get naked today i'm like am i getting naked on my heaven <laughs> well your publicist lives here <laughs> yes yes miss jackson miss jackson miss lisa jackson man I been doing so it real. been doing it big for years Shout 
out to Lisa. Yeah, you yeah. know, that's my girl, man. She you she always thinks about me when she bring a man, Clinton, George, whoever it yeah, is, yeah, yeah. man, the list of them. So I'm thankful, man. I got man, a chance to you. talk to you today, and man. And anybody want to follow me, I'm at, at The Real Memphis Hits. It's, uh, it's Memphis and Hits smashed together. If I'm Memphis, known for hits, just do a little word sex and put them. <laughs> the baby came out, Memphis Hits. So it's Mickey Memphis Hits, right? But my Instagram is at The Real Memphis Hits, M E M P H I T Z. Um, even. No, I can't tell y'all about so that. When they, business, so when can we look forward to finding Mint? Look, Mrs. Right. Mrs. Right. Mrs. Right. Mrs. Right is being casted for right now. I can't really release the networks that are interested because that would be wrong, and that's not <laughs> how it's done, but it's coming. Uh, I'm kind of preparing my own mind for that, dealing with this many women, trying to eliminate till I find <laughs> one or two. Two that I can deal with. <laughs> well, but, Memphis, uh, yes. man, it's our man. It's a pleasure, man. Let's thank stay you. connected, man. Yes, when you we come will. to we will. Texas, we will. I want to thank Mr. Mickey Memphis Wright for being on Black Friday Live Celebrity Edition. As Probably always, I'm that. your host, Keith Scott. He's gonna be doing his thing here all weekend. Hey, we'll see you next time right here on Black Friday Live with Keith Scott. Be encouraged as always.